In today's A-level IB chemistry video, we're going to be looking at concentration calculations. So basically anything involving concentration. And this is a super key formula triangle for you, NCV. And that states that number of moles is equal to concentration times volume because obviously all you have to do is cover the letter that you're after. So in this case, I'd cover the number of moles and I'd see that it's concentration times volume. If I'm asked to find the volume, so I cover the V, I can see that that's number of moles divided by concentration. So it's quite easy to use. One more thing to notice is that with these calculations, you need to be careful with units and you tend to need to have all your volume units here in decimeters cubed rather than centimeters cubed and that's in the middle of calculations you might need to convert it at the end to centimeters cubed but within the calculation itself you need to be using decimeters cubed the way you do that is if you have 250 centimeters cubed for example you want it in decimeters cubed where you divide your answer by a thousand so 250 centimeters cubed is the same as 0 0.25 decimeters cubed and that is extremely important However, now we're going to have a look at some practice questions. So in this first example, calculate the concentration in mole dm to the minus 3 of a solution formed when 0 0.75 grams of magnesium chloride is completely dissolved in water to make a solution with a volume of 100 centimetres cubed. So the first thing we need to do is use this information here to calculate the number of moles of magnesium chloride. And hopefully you're super familiar with this formula triangle, which states that mass equals number of moles times MR. So in order to do this, we need to cover our N. So we're looking for the number of moles and we can see that we need to do mass divided by MR. And I like to write out what I'm doing. We've been given the mass in the question, which is 0 0.75 grams. Using your periodic table, you're going to work out the MR of magnesium chloride. So that's 24.31 plus 2 lots of chlorine, which is 2 times 35.45. Just pop the whole lot into your calculator. Let's work out the MR now. And you get a value which is 95.21. So our number of moles is 7.87. I'm not going to round this. I don't want to introduce rounding errors to the minus 3. Now we need to concentrate on the volume aspect of this question, so 100 centimetres cubed. And as I've already alluded to, you need to convert that value to decimetres cubed. So that's a straightforward process of just dividing that number by 1,000 to get 0 0.1 decimetres cubed. And then finally, because we're being asked to find the concentration, we now need the triangle that I've already mentioned, which is number of moles is concentration times volume. Hopefully you can see that we've just calculated number of moles here, we've got a concentration here. So we have these two values. So we can quite simply do concentration equals number of moles divided by volume to get 7.87732 times 10 to the minus three divided by 0 0.1. And our final answer here is 0 0.0788 moles dm to the minus three, and that's to three sig fig. Question two, determine the concentration in mole dm to the minus three of the chloride ions in, in example one above. And the thing you have to do here is write out the ionic equation for the compound given above, which was obviously magnesium chloride. So when it breaks down, it forms magnesium ions. And because it's in group two, that's Mg2 plus, And it forms chloride ions, two lots of them, so two Cl minus. And that's really important. Now we're looking for the concentration of chloride ions. We need this triangle again, so NCV. And we can see that we can work out the concentration of chloride ions by doing number of moles divided by volume. Now, as we look back up, we can see that our number of moles is highlighted here. However, if you check the ionic equation, you see that you produce two lots of the chloride ions, which is why you need to multiply that number of moles by two and then divide it by the same volume as before because nothing's changed. And again, that needs to be in decimeters cubed, which is why I'm writing 0 0.1. And we get a value which is 0 0.158 mole dm to the minus three. 
again to 3 sig fig. Question 3, we're looking at mass of solutes this time. So calculate the mass in grams of potassium hydrogen something, I can't say that, in 250 centimetres cubed of a 0 0.125 molar dm to the minus 3 solution. So if you're struggling to know where to get going, let's do a bit of identifying what we have. Well, we have a volume here. We have a concentration. Obviously, we're looking for mass. Hopefully, you can see that what links volume and concentration is this formula triangle, NCV. So hopefully, you can see that we could use this to calculate the number of moles. And then we could use our second formula triangle, which states that mass is number of moles times MR to find out the unknown mass, because obviously we can use the periodic table to find the MR. So not too bad, this one. So let's start by finding out the number of moles of C8H5O4K. So we're going to do that by doing concentration. So that's what we've been told in the question is 1.25 times the volume, which is 250 centimetres cubed. And I'm directly going to divide that by 1,000 to make sure that it's converted to the dm cubed that it needs to be in. So our number of moles is 0 0.3125. Now to calculate the mass of this substance, we obviously need to do number of moles times MR. So we have our number of moles, which is 0 0.3125 times the MR. So we need to do eight lots of carbon added to five lots of hydrogen added to four lots of oxygen and then added to potassium. And when you've sorted all of that out, you get an MR, which is 204.08. Don't worry if your number is slightly different. Periodic tables do vary. And when you've done that final calculation, your mass will come out as being 63.8 grams to three significant figures. And the final question we're doing in this video is to do with the concentration of standard solutions. So a standard solution is prepared by dissolving 5.30 grams of sodium carbonate, Na2CO3. A 10 centimeter cubed sample of this solution is removed and diluted with water to the final volume of 0.1 decimeters cubed. Calculate the concentration in moles dm to the minus C of the diluted solution. So although this seems more complicated, we can definitely dive in with what we're used to doing. So using those two formula triangles, let's just first of all identify what we have. Well, here we have a mass of sodium carbonate. We have a volume given here. And then this is where the sample size is being produced. And we have a final volume of this. So that's where it gets complicated because of all the volumes. However, let's start by looking at the 5.3 grams of sodium carbonate because clearly we can work out the number of moles of sodium carbonate present in 250 centimetres cubed. Let's write our two formula triangles again. As you can see, this is a real habit of mine. Although whether they count as triangles is a separate matter. So let's first of all start by working out the number of moles of sodium carbonate. So that's obviously mass divided by MR. Our mass has been given to us in the question, which is 5.3 grams, divided by the MR. So we need to do two lots of sodium, which is 22.99, plus carbon, 12.01, plus three lots of oxygen. And then when we've collected together all those terms, we get 105.99. Do 5.3 divided by that answer, and we get a number of moles, which is 0 0.0500047, blah, blah, blah. So that's the number of moles present in 250 centimetres cubed. However, we've only taken a 10 centimetres cubed sample of this, so we need to work out what proportion of that number of moles has actually been removed. And the way you do that is straightforward maths. You need to times it by 10 over 250 because you're working out what proportion of those number of moles was actually removed in this 10 centimeters cubed sample. And that gives us a number of moles of 2.00 times 10 to the minus three. And I'm gonna write a note to myself, is present in 10 centimeters cubed? That's because that's the hardest thing about these questions is actually keeping track of what's going on. And finally, we can read in the question that it was diluted with water to the final volume of 0 0.1 decimeters cubed. And so we're going to work out that concentration 
by doing number of moles divided by volume. So we've got our number of moles, we've just calculated it as being 2 times 10 to the minus 3. Our volume is the very final part of that question, so that's 0 0.1 decimeters cubed. The units will find it's in decimeters cubed already. And you get a value which is 0 0.0200 moles m to the minus 3. And that is done. One thing I probably should point out is when you're actually writing up, I don't know why I started doing this, but really to point out that you're working out the concentration of sodium carbonate, you use square brackets to represent concentration. So that's actually a much nicer way of writing it. Anyway, that's everything I wanted to do on this video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to sub and like if you want to see more similar videos and I'll be back soon.